Auto, baby. Come on. I might throw up, I ain't gonna lie. Welcome to a brand new video, and we're bringing all the energy today because we have some very, very strong friends with us today. Ashton, Ruska, SSJ Bob, Gavin, Delaney, Alex Sidor. Like, I'm so excited to get you guys content because they are some of the strongest in the entire world. And we're gonna see some heavy ass weight lifted. <laughs> the gym roof is about to get blown off. Let's go! I'm honored to just have them here. Uh, we're all after the same thing, which is just to fucking be the strongest that we can be. And be like, he, he's gonna be battling to beat me as like the top dog uh, in powerlifting. That's my goal, Ashton, that's my goal. Ashton too. Yeah. Hey, oh, I, I'm gonna call him out right now. Uh, I'm gonna call him out right now. Nah, I, I, there was, he knows. There was, there was a, a YouTube clip, my man was saying, I don't even think Atwood is gonna be like my competition anymore. Something, no, no, no. something along those lines. Strongest man on the fucking planet. Drug free. If you don't know who this man is, in my opinion, it's gonna be the biggest challenge I ever face in my life. Not Taylor. Not Taylor. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. I, said, I, said, I said Rondell is gonna be my biggest challenge. Not Taylor. I love Rondell because I like the mentality that he has, <laughs> but he was talking about all the what if scenarios of beating me at the Sheffield, and it was I did just, see that. It was hilarious because I'm sitting there like, bro, do you realize you're about to travel across the, the world uh, eight, nine hours? Oh, by the way, you still got a two hour way in. You have to have all the stars aligned. The champion of the go that way. What the fuck, man? Let's go. One. <laughs> Go Ash, you do. You know what you do, let's go. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. There you go. Let's go, Ash, come on. Right. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, boy. Let's go. Oh. Yo, come let's on. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good shit, boy. Bam. Bam. Good shit. Oh, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a god. Nice. Come on. We got two of the strongest squatters in the world right now. Ashton just hit 777 pounds for a double, five pounds under his double PR. And we got Bob about to hit, I think she says 750 for a double. Thank you, man. Fuck you You got it, you got it. Let's go, Bob. Yes, sir. Come on, drop. Stay tight. Control that. Oh, come on, drive, Bob. Drive, Bob. 
That's some load for you, boy. 205. I don't know, John Hack probably would have taken a double, but. <laughs> I'm the GOAT of tested. He's the GOAT of untested. I don't know what this guy is. Why, why, dude, why are you, why are you, why are you, why are you, because he, look, I don't, there's I think no animosity. There's no, there's no animosity, there's no animosity, but it's competition. My man Bob here, we have Ashton, and I want to ask him a, a quick question. Given that you guys are like on the come up right now, and it, it, like you well established yourself as like the strongest in the world, what is continuing to push you? I consider myself one of the most competitive people of all time. This man right here, right beside me, is literally continuing to push me over and over again. I thrive off the fact that he's here in person, and I get to see someone lift heavier than me. I thrive off of that, because I want to catch up. I can't accept someone doing better than me, to be honest. But it, it helps me grow, so yeah. And other strong people out there in the world. You got a lot of them, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, similarly along those lines, I will say that head-to-head -head competition is probably would probably be the number one thing that drives me as well. Um, the same way as Bob, you know, I don't like to lose and uh, <laughs> I want to win. There's guys like Bob, there's guys like Keenan, you know, Korea yeah, that showed up recently. Um, well, not recently, he's been around, but he's really taken off lately. Um, and, you know, before I wrap things up in powerlifting, I just kind of want to leave a permanent mark. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. Permanent mark. Fuck like, yeah. Just leave behind greatness. Well, like there's it's, a. It's not even. I, I think from my perspective, it's, it's it's leaving behind greatness, but also pushing the next generation. Yeah. To be better. Right. To to continue to push the mark. Like what I what I because I'm an old fellow right now, considered old. But what I really want to do is inspire that younger generation. And if I'm pushing them to beyond what they think they're cap capable of. Ah. That was beautiful. Because he does. Nah, I really do. Push me. And, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I, I, want, I want people to know, no bullshit, the only limitations that you have are the ones you place on yourself. Yeah. There is literally, you're in your own way. Yeah, I see that all the time. You're in your own way. I see it all the time. So many. I will say. So I did say, I do hate losing, it's true, right? But I also love losing more than anything. Because every time I've lost in, in the past in powerlifting, I've always eventually passed those people up because my sense of urgency completely changes. When you lose and some dude shows up, outlifts you, you know, emasculates you, 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 can't, you can't live with it. You, you, you lose sleep at night, I lose sleep at night. I can't get emasculated by another man. And just and sleep eight hours a night. That's impossible for me. Yeah. So I do hate losing because I don't like being emasculated. But I love losing because it gives me a sense of urgency like no other. So that's my honest, heartfelt answer. So. I agree. I agree. Okay, time to finish. Same thing, man. Don't worry, I got some other questions for you. Ah. That's the first one. Let's go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Hey! Right. Oh. One more, Bob. Oh. We're gonna go right now and see my man Ashton hit a big double on deadlifts. Let's see it. Let's go, Ash! Oh. Sir! Let's go! Come on! Come on! You know what you do! You know what you do! Show them what you do right now! Come on, baby! Up! Oh. Up! Oh. Come Sir. on! Up! Oh. Yeah! Yes, sir! Warm front! Woo! Fuck me! Come on! 
Yeah. Go. One more. Come on, you got that. Don't Come on. Up. Don't give up. Uh, Let's go. Uh, yeah. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Dude, we were off the whole day. January, February, April, May, June, July, August, September. This is the first month I've not got a total. You can't always expect a perfect day, especially on three lifts. But just take what's there, take away the W's, learn from the L's. I just okay. spoke on that in my last video. You have to take what's there, don't allow the session that you potentially had a quote unquote bad day or bad session as you're not making progress. There's a lot of different variables that come into every workout. Bro. Remember that. <laughs> but it's good in a way. It's like a disrespectful good. Like you know, I'm the pound for pound strongest. Oh yeah, pound. absolutely. Oh, <laughs> we, know, we know that. We know I wish that. I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> because when Bob talks about champs like Charles, he's like be a dots, and I'm like, mm, we're talking about dots, but pound for pound, we know who it is. Hey, it's we dots. Know who it is, we got we got dots. Listen. We got points. We got yeah. wilts. We know. We know. Who it is. Give me all of them. And that's the thing. Like even when you're. Quote unquote the best. It's like, nah, fuck that. I'm not the best. I have to be better. I gotta be better. That's that's my mindset. I'm not allowing myself to settle for for where I'm at. Jordan type mentality. Psychopathic type. <laughs> we're we're like teetering on that like <laughs> You can't be normal. You can't be normal. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. This was an absolute, just phenomenal work session. Uh, we had some of the strongest in the world competing here at the gym. So I hope you enjoyed. I mean, it was the most amount of weight I've ever seen lifted in a gym session in a very long time. So it was a pleasure and a treat for me. Hope it was for you as well. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Helps the algorithm. And subscribe if you're not. And we'll see you in the next video. Let's go. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I think you're almost at the time. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I thought he was wearing this, but it's really like a small Are y'all boys ready to go eat? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Oh.